Okay, this is Sand Dollar here this morning. It is uh, June 18th, Monday morning. Time is 6.35. Sun rises any minute. Probably is, but clouds are covering it. So, sorry I didn't metal detect last week. Just so busy. Everybody wanting their generators repaired because of her, you know, hurricane season and so I was just really too busy to go metal detecting and I hated it, but I had to do what I had to do. Anyway, I'm here this morning, it's low tide at 7.35. Uh, I'm running my MX Sport today. Um, I wanted to, I'm not, I'm debating whether to do wet sand or dry sand. You know, I've found good targets in both, but not sure which I want to start with. Uh, beach ramp opens at eight, so as soon as they open up, I'm gonna get on the beach with my truck and and head south to that one resort area, which there I probably will do wet sand. Uh, like I said, it's already 6:30 and people are showing up at the beach already. So um, anyway, let me get set up, get metal detecting, and as soon as I hit a target, I'll let you know. Okay, I just come across a quarter dry sand, about four inches deep, uh, first quarter of the day. Now I've done went a good 150 feet up and back searching a grid, and uh, this is the first good target I hit. I have found two bottle caps and a pull tab, but ain't worth reporting there, so... Anyway, this quarter's been there a while. Not too long, but a little while. That tells me no other metal detector's been here for a while either, so I'll let you know what else I find. Okay, I just come across a dime. Uh, dry sand about six inches deep. Been there a while, it's got some green corrosion on it. Uh, date on it is 1996, 1996. So, you know, Bosnia's catchphrase was, I'll take it. So, this one's for you, Bosnia. I'll take it. So, I'll let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I just come across a penny. About two inches deep. It's a 1972 memorial. Uh, you can definitely tell the good copper from the pennies nowadays, that's for sure. Anyway, um, fixing to open the beach ramp up here in the next 10 minutes, so I'm going to probably be uh, moving south. And I'll keep going for another 10 minutes or so, but anyway, just want to let you know and I'll. Uh, let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day. I've been here about three and a half hours. And I haven't found crap. Quarter, dime, one penny. A lot of little flakes of rust. You know, so um, I'm glad I used my MX Sport today because if not, uh, I'd have been digging up everything if I used my Sea Hunter. And uh, the few few uh, things I dug up, they were like little flakes of rust, and uh, you know they showed up as a penny or a bottle cap, and they weren't. They were just flakes of rust off somebody's lawn chair. So I'm glad I used my MX Sport today. But uh, so being I didn't find a whole lot, I'm gonna add this video to the next video and um, go from there. So. Um, you know, uh, you get to the end of this, stay tuned because I'm going to just add another day's hunt onto this video. Alright, talk to you soon. Okay, this is a sand dollar here. Tuesday morning, the 18th. Figure I'd come to my little secret spot, but this guy down here on his bicycle, he, uh, he, he built a metal detecting machine to put on in front of his three-wheel bike and he rapes the beach man 
So we're gonna walk up and talk to him and uh, get it on recording. I wanna show you the setup and uh, there's no sense in metal detecting today because uh, people like him just rape it. So. got this three-wheel bicycle he spent five grand on and outfitted it with a metal detector you can see right there it's a four foot wide uh, coil hooked to this machine so And you can see right there how he he just uh, rapes the beach, so. Looks like he's running the next caliber. So. You doing any good today? No, not after you raped the beach. Pardon? Not after you raped the beach. How am I supposed to find anything? Let me tell you something. It's the first time I've been over since last year. Well, that's good. I wonder why I haven't seen you. But there's a guy here one day. I come in here one morning last year. I said, man, there ain't nothing here. And I got to look and I seen footprints. He combed this baby just as clean as a whistle. Yeah. He, say, he walks back and forth, walking back and forth, and he drags his, drags his thing. But yeah, I haven't, probably, I haven't, probably me. I, so it was, my wife's been laid up with cataracts and, and different troubles, and, and I haven't been over all year. So yesterday I said, you know, I'm going to go over to Main Drag. I went 5.6 miles up and down that beach. I had 165 targets, and all I got was three quarters, six dimes six pennies and two sinkers and the rest was shit junk junk i mean i have so the only reason i come back today is when you park your truck you bring your boat over and go to the thing they charge you to park your boat a uh, truck now yeah so i got to get a registration my truck registered so i don't have to pay i'm gonna petition the county this month uh this next week to make all us metal detectors get a permit why keep all these fuckers from orlando out of here Oh, is that what it does this? Because usually this is big. I only hit a few targets. Most of them's junk. I got a two quarters and a nickel and a, and a penny. And that piece of tin foil. Well, they could still buy a permit if they wanted to. But, yep. But that's what's happening. They charge, charge, charge for everything. Everything you call Well, that's charge. good, man. Well, it might be if you've got it. I don't have it myself. I don't have it either. And I was born and raised here. But the point is, I've seen all these Orlando people come over Metal Tech to our beach. Well, leave their holes they don't bury them and well, the and all that other crap you know that went out of sanford they come to these beaches all the time and spend overnight they go overnight especially yeah. splash park yeah well if they got permits and yeah. all it does is cost everybody some money but yet they, they, yeah but it'll weed they, out some of them won't it well, maybe they'd have to put somebody down here to catch them See them. Did they bother you this morning? No, I spray down. Oh, I forgot to bring it. <laughs> I forgot to bring it. I'm going to finish hunting my targets here. Then I'm, I'm gonna, that thing should open about 8 o'clock, isn't it? Where you get your yep. straight. Yep. Yeah, I got to time it. Uh, there again, after uh, after hours, how are you allowed to get on here with that uh, motorized vehicle? 
this is legal. I already went down that road. Already had a lifeguard pull me over. I mean, a patrolman last year. So I went up to the Splash Park, the registration. He says, okay. He says, the guy that wrote you up is a new guy, and, and technically he's right. But Volusia County, he says, since they started the Segways, Segways, you're not, they don't want Segways riding where the traffic drives. So they allow them down here. He says, plus I've seen you with that. Only time I use that bike is to get where I'm going. If I use that bike while the detector's on it, throws, it goes, whoa, 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 messes it all up. You can't do that. I just use it. Now, like I go to Ormond Beach. Ormond Beach at 4 o'clock in the morning, you've got to go a mile down the road and park at a little park. And then you've got to get on the beach and go down to do the boardwalk. Okay, I just come across the dime wet sand. Hadn't been there too long, just starting to tarnish up. So, you know, I want to talk to you about that old man. You know, he rapes the beach and it just ain't right, you know. So, anyway, I didn't find a whole lot yesterday metal detecting, so I didn't do a wrap up. Matter of fact, just a quarter, a dime, and a penny. So, and it's people like him that rape the beach and. Yeah, that's why I'm going to petition the county to make all us metal detectors in Volusia County get permits. That way to weed out some of these people, you know. But uh, I know that old boy there, he's got a lot of people pissed off at him. Because last year he throws these little sandbags out. And uh, then he comes, he rides away a couple hundred feet. And then comes back and digs his targets up later. Well, another metal detector guy seen him do it. Went and dug up one of his targets. Well, you know, he come back and got in an argument about it. And I, and, uh, I said, hey, you know, and I told him, and I agreed with the other metal detector guy. You rode away and that target's fair game. Once you ride away or walk away, you know, 20 feet, even 20 feet. That target's fair game to anybody. So, and I haven't seen him in a year. So now here he is again. So, but it's people like him that rape his beach. So, anyway, I'll let you know if we hit another target. What a beautiful sunrise here in sunny Florida. Can't ask for much better than that, man. Wish I was hitting more targets, but like I said, this guy, he he done raped the beach for miles in each direction with that electric bike thing he's got. So I'm more or less just killing time. I was lucky I found that dime. Of course, that dime was in the wet. His bike won't go to the wet, so. That's a good thing on my part, but where he's detecting is where all the good targets are. Yeah, I'll be a law against that. Anyway, I'll let you know if I do hit another target. See, here he comes. He done did in front of me all the way to the water's edge. How can you compete against something like that, you know? I marked those down there for you. Anywhere you see a scratch mark, there's something there. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks. On, on that upper side, I'll run this a little bit here. I can't get in there because I can't get in the water. But uh, any of those scratch marks, that, that means something was there to signal. But once in a while, it'll pick up a... I don't know, if something sets it off. It, if you can... Okay, let me show you something. Pieces of iron is what it is. Let me show you something. See this? Whenever you see that, that means I was going this way. Alright. Okay? So, by the time I hear the signal and it gets to the scratch thing in the back, so it could be off. So anytime that you want to signal this, you start right here. Well, I swoop it this way because if, it's usually if it's near the top, see if you see anything there. It was a weak signal, but I, and, and, and in other words, you, you got it, you might have to come down here or go up here because my reaction time might be off. 
I might miss the trigger or something, but I know it's in this area. I hear something in this area. Okay. See if you see anything there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a wrap up here. Uh, four quarters, a dime, three pennies, and one of the pennies really corroded, so it's a memorial too, so at least it's copper. And then I found two tent stakes, a rusted piece of bolt iron, bottle cap, zipper pull, a uh, pull tab, and a hair barrette clip. Um, really sucky hunts this week. I was really hoping to find a gold ring today, but that guy on that bicycle, he, you know, he pretty much covered everything. Uh, when he left, he did uh, mark some targets for me to dig. Uh, that's where I got the quarters from. Um, there was a, a couple targets that were, you know, the tent stakes and uh, the zipper pull. But, uh, you know, I mean, it does cover a large area, mark targets. Um, some of them ain't no good, some of them are, you know, just like any, any metal detector. But, you know, <clears throat> with him doing that, you know, it, really it's not a whole lot of chance of finding anything after he goes through an area so anyway thanks for watching please subscribe and uh probably go back out sometime later this week detecting or next week for sure and um let you know what i find please subscribe thanks for watching talk to you soon